Secret. Turns out that's the only thing I say in the entire video. Okay. So last time, pirates and going outside and I don't even freaking know what else. So um, I just checked the comments on the last video and um, it sounds like I'm mostly just kind of on my way to making progress anyway. But there are a few things I can do, such as talk to the dude, and um, I guess I also have access to a lot more rooms in the, uh, like, connected to the kitchen now. Or not the kitchen, but the, the room with the eggs. Oh my god, why? But I do also want to go back down to the basement, because uh, I never actually got to climb that, like, shelf that I knocked down. So I don't actually know how important it is to continue collecting these coins. I'm going to keep doing it at least for a while, though. But yeah, I actually have a possible decent chunk of time in which I can record a bit of this game, so assuming the uh, strangeness of it doesn't get to be too much and end up killing me, then I think we'll be good for a while here. I think I'm not going to uh, do the Action 52 vote yet. I'll probably be doing that like the next month or whenever because uh, I've still got plenty of stuff in the Genesis version to go through. Alright. So nothing terribly important, but I got some extra points, so that's always alright with me. I will talk again. Okay, I thought I was picking up a thing, but apparently I was... okay. Alright, well let's see. Um, probably just head into the other room and then potentially basement stuff. Can I get down without taking damage? Surprisingly, yes. I think there should be a plug in the next room that's easy enough to access. Here, do you say anything that isn't ribbit? Or biddle biddle? No. You are coloring a picture of me, though. Oh, give you the ring? Here, have some cookie crumbs. Or some broken glass. Broken glass is not a food. And it ceases to be. Six. Six happy points. Okay, so it looks like that's probably a uh, good way of getting points, and I now know how many there are in the game. I would go in there, but it's super important that we clean these paw prints first. I'm the world's smallest dog. Yes? Why 109? This game seems to celebrate random milestones. It's really weird. I worry that I'll eventually run out of things to say about this game. I mean, that's kind of the case with every game I play, honestly, but, uh... Oh, really? I like the scrunking that's occurring between lines. I haven't had egg salad in a long time. It is good. Ah. 
Oh, that's why there's an okay. Ground Detroit. Okay, that, that's a unusual name there. Safety, honor, safety, and computers. Even though that's only four things. The hole, huh? Well, like the garbage disposal? Why? Why is this cutscene still going? Okay, good. We don't... I, I was starting to get a frickin', like, vibe similar to the, uh... Like, the second animated Titanic movie that Nostalgia Critic reviewed. The one with, like, the mice going over safety protocol for entirely too long. That's kind of what that was starting to feel like. That was the one where, uh, the lady's tears glisten in the moonlight and therefore, like, therefore cause dolphins to be able to speak, or whatever the hell that was. I don't even know. Um, I'm actually not seeing any reason for me to go up here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. What is that? Like shoe polish, I can't actually tell. Yeah, there was no reason for me to come up here. But I guess that's alright. Well, there's another one of these doors. There's a room over there. That's, uh. Okay, that's actually the basement. So there's a door to the kitchen. I mean, I've, I've been in the kitchen. Is this just a different door to it? There's also a very ornate spiral staircase or something of that sort in here. I'll have to check that out in a minute. No. It's, uh... Slightly disappointing that these doors don't ever change things up, because the first time I ever went in one, it was one of, like, the defining moments of my life. And ever since then, it's just kind of been the same thing. I wish they would be, uh, uniquely fucked up every time. Oh, and here's another one. So why do these doors exist? Is a reason ever given? Okay. That one was a rip-off. Oh, so I actually can't go in this door. I lack... Or no, no, I, I can. Yeah, because I've totally been in the kitchen before. I guess this door was just closed before and now it's open. Alright, whatever. Anything I want to do in here? Bandage, spoon. Obviously, I'll want to get those at some point. Yeah, I'll worry about this room later. After I slide through the door. Now, see, this is not the direction I wanted to go, and I got a giant slide for no reason. Whereas, okay, that one worked. I can't tell if it's only because like the floor is polished in certain areas. Like, can I do it on carpet? Let's see. It doesn't appear to be. Which makes sense. But I also can't tell if it's like an intended mechanic or not. I'm going to worry about those guys later. Why is someone just standing on the stairs and not moving? 
Oh, they're not. It was just shoes, okay. Also, are these actually shoes? Or, are these actually shoes? Are these actually stairs? Those are over there. This is just kind of a step stool. Or something. Yeah. Uh, I want to deal with the free rangers right now. I suppose I might as well. Go ahead and just take the fall damage. Oh, there wasn't any. Okay. Got it. Are each one of you... Yeah, I, I, I did just get it. Oh, this is... Every one of these... Every single one of these has separate dialogue. I'm now reminding myself of the, uh, the blue cult from Earthbound, where they all have, like, a different blue pun. Spaceship? No. Okay, I mean, I'd like to get that. So, fun fact about the name Orlando, when the, uh, yes, when the name, um, or, yeah, what was it? Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire demo came out. The uh, character in the demo was named Orlando, and there was this person who like wanted to play the demo because of the like, uh, like bonuses you get from it. But they were like unable to because apparently they had like an extremely bad history with somebody named Orlando, and it it was like so bad that it actually prevented them from playing the game. It was really kind of stupid. So, 13, 14, yes, 16. Where's the missing one? Are they dead? Did they find? I don't know what that even means. Okay, I don't want to talk to all of you. I will, however, talk to the sergeant. Yes. What? That's that's how those words sound. Can I give you the photo? I assume he wants the photo. Okay, there we go. I'll give you a candy bag instead. I was actually about, like, we were a full troop, and I'm like, that was before the terribleness happened, and then, and then he basically says that. Okay, we get Army Egg Backstory. Not Egg Army, Army Egg. I was bitching at people, as usual. Cutscene continued for a while. The cutscene continued for a while, and then all of a sudden, I was in my towel when the ninjas attacked! Oh no, it is dog. But they're not supposed to leave a man behind. He's too busy rubbing the floor and having his hands sink through it.
Dude, how do you not notice this thing? They all named after like cities, except for Tex. I don't know. They're, they're named after just locations of various sizes. Yeah, I'm not listening to that noise continuously. He gave me happy points because he was reminded of his soldier that died. Makes perfect sense to me. Uh, can I get up any higher than this? Actually, it doesn't look like I can. I lack the ability to jump, so uh, this is this is as far as we're getting. I don't think I can climb this. Yeah. Okay, so is there anything else in this room I actually want to do, then? I'm not really seeing a whole lot. Is that the uh, spaceship up there? No, I don't want the copter. There's a ring. How do I zoom? I thought I could z I, like, never freaking remember the buttons in this game. They're... Not very confusing, I just, I suck at it. Red block. That looks like a spaceship. Oh well. I suppose I will deal with that later. Let's head back into the basement. Basement being a banned word in Gunbound because it contains the word semen. We'll never get over that. Please use the proper words. See, so yeah, I at least know there's something I can do down here. After that, I'm pretty much on my own and just have to explore and find something that is interactable, I guess. And um, just for the record, I, ha I have read the comments saying that there's, like, other poses you can do with the costumes. Like, I know they exist. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that drained a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like, I know they exist, I just haven't really found a need to use them yet. I don't know, I guess every time I meet a major character, I should probably do all the poses against them. Just to be sure. We get a slightly better camera angle here. <laughs> also, I was told that I missed, like, a key element from the, uh, Mega Robo cutscene. I watched it again, and I mean, it looks like there was, like, a UFO that landed or something. Uh, other than that, I'm not really sure what I was supposed to be looking for. God, what the hell is this shit? I need to just get that on a constant loop. I do need some kind of sound effect for uh, Haley's voice in Victip's Adventure 3. Clearly I'll just use that. Doesn't matter if it fits the character at all. We'll just go with that. Shanty Pete's Blessed Harbor. Okay, so what's happening? Why is this- why is he pissed off? Like, I'm- 
I, I was not entirely paying attention, I'll admit, but I also don't know if it was made very clear. God, these graphics are kind of reminding me of, like, Psychonauts, I think. They're very bouncy and weird. I, I don't know really what is going on here. Wait. This is just the freaking Sid Hoffman, Sid Frenchman game. This is so dumb. I, I, am I involved in this at all? We're gonna find out. This is definitely Sid Hoffman and Sid Frenchman, the game, but, uh, yes, it'll definitely open. guessing I can't actually guess correctly because it's just gonna freaking change its mind anyway but still okay so he guessed wrong but I guessed correctly I guess I don't freaking know what is this what is this like point of this thing this is like the Look the Other Way game from Mario RPG, except not really. And only liars and thieves eat grumble cakes, and those people go to prison. Just ask the cheat. Look, the cheat, he's brought up right there. I have had me fill of ye. Okay, bye. Now, um, let me go. I have to show them my, uh, my ability to fall over while in bandages. Hey, you. Hey, hey, guess what? Guess what I can do? Guess what? Thing. Okay, so basically you just kind of get unique dialogue, but... Oh god, no, why? No, no, not what I meant to do. I was trying to press the button to take it off. That would have been a very embarrassing way to die. And again, just to acknowledge the fact that I am reading comments, I was also told that if I die while in the trauma gear, then I get a different costume. I'm not going to intentionally die, but like if I get to a point where it's inevitable, then I'll put it on, I guess. Also, I have still not talked to this character. Also, is this just Cuphead? I mean, it's more like a teapot, but still. Eh, nah. Sure, I guess. Hmm. 
Não, não. None. I'm fairly sure you're ripping me off. I don't want to give you any. Fine. Wait, I have to give at least a hundred? Ugh. And I'm like locked into- I mean, I could reload the save state. Actually, where was my save state? Yeah, it was before I did anything important. But I'll find out at least what... Okay, I'm done. Here, have some money. Goodbye, Moon Man. Goodbye, Moon Man. What is this? Okay, I'm done. I've... This is so freaking stupid. I mean, sure, I guess I'll... test and see if there's, like, a way to manipulate this. It's probably just... I can't imagine that this is actually gonna let me guess correctly, because this guy is totally full of shit, and... Yeah, like the... Whatever. Okay. I got ten happy points, but I lost my money. And if I say no... Yeah, he's full of shit. Whatever. I don't like having lost the hundred, but this is fine. I, I'll just, I'll deal with it. Okay, moving on. Strangely realistic photo. What is this? a good noise. There's a bottle of unknown liquid up there. I can just pull bricks out of the wall. Sounds about right. Also, I liked that animation where I faced away and then jumped up. What's with, like, this 50s aesthetic it's got going on? Oh, you know, just liquid gunpowder. That's fine. Here's a bunch of, like, powdered milk. I don't know what the hell that is. Okay. Can I actually get over there? I'm not fully convinced that I can. Maybe if I fly from up on top of that thing, but how do I get up on that? I'm annoyed that I can't climb this. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I push the... Okay, I see now. Gotta play a little bit of push mode first. And hopefully not run out of battery power. And we 
they fly into the birdcage, I guess, which seems questionable if it'll work. Oh, sure it does, okay. And it made a shortcut for later, which is always a good thing. Okay. I, I like this, uh, I like this ground I'm standing on here. Okay. So can I get all the way over there? Or actually, can't, do I climb this? Yeah. That's a lot of nails. Totally not just a artificial roadblock. Not at all. What what's what's blocking it? Alright, never mind then. Drug doors are always fun. There's like a whole bunch of other crap over there that I can't access. I might be able to. I can't really tell. Um, this isn't what I came here for, but I mean, I'll try to do this anyway. There's a frog ring. I could use another plug. But yeah, the day is actually already almost over, so... I'm, uh, today's the video of me just comparing this to everything else in the world, and, um, my comparison of the moment is basically, I'm just reminded of, like, the first few times I played Pikmin and I didn't know what I was doing, and I would go through an entire day without accomplishing anything, and then, like, feel bad about it. That's pretty much what's happening here. Ah, crap, okay. So, you know what's going to happen here is I'm going to run out of battery. And because of that, I'm going to at least try to get this new suit out of it. Because if I can't meet my goal, I can at least get something stupid. Like, I can try to float over there. I just don't see this really working all that well. Or actually, what if I just do this? Okay, that'll work. Can at least pick up this giant ass thing. Makes perfect sense. Yes. Now, I understand that the other robot drained a lot of power, but the way he worded that, it sounded like once I fill up the charger, I can't use the outlets? Or is he just saying, don't use the outlets to fill the charger? That would make more sense, but... So do I find a charger somewhere else? Oh, you used the word queer. This game is offensive now. So, it's in a lunchbox. Gotta make yet another Toy Story reference. Alright, he's uh, and he's opening the first present. And, uh, it's a lunchbox. We've got a lunchbox here. The following line where the next present is bed sheets. I, like, never understood that line for some reason. Like, I, I mean, he's just like, okay, he's opening the second present, and it, it's... Oh, 
Who invited that kid? And I'm just like, what? What, what was it? I, I couldn't hear you. Anyway, I'm gonna die. Now I will become the thing's leg. You're always so surprised that I come back. But, but what about the other costume, though? Do I not get it? up the, uh, pick up the water. So I need to spend money to charge this, or? Okay, I guess that makes sense. So the money does actually have a purpose. I mean, it, it did anyway, because I had to buy stuff from the shop. So how much does this thing take? Um, none? I don't have that much money to spare. Especially since I, uh, kind of want to get another battery first. One day I'll be able to buy these things. Maybe if I hadn't spent all my money on other random bullshit, I would have been able to do it by now, but... That's okay. Now that I has Anna Battery, I can survive a little bit longer. It will help me get more. Must always create garbage. So, that didn't actually increase my total, I'm noticing. So is this just kind of like a reserve tank? Like, if I, if I run out, then I have a little bit of a backup. Which is basically the same as just increasing my total anyway. Much like reserve tanks, I, I still don't really understand the point of those. Anyway, I'm going to go throw out my garbage. I'm apparently supposed to be saving the... Uh, the cookie crumbs for the fish. I If it gives me the option to not throw away the cookie crumbs, I guess I'll do it. But, uh, like, the day's almost over. I don't have enough time to go over there, and I did want to... Or, nah, I mean, I guess I don't have to throw this out. I can just do that the next day. I will spend my last waking moments cleaning up some more paw prints, because... The most fun you can possibly have. Get it? Pause. Stop giving me cleaning bonuses. I mean, I'll take the free money, but <laughs> why though? Um, oh, was that okay? I see. Anyway, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut the video there. Um, I usually like to do a day and a night, but it's already 40 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and stop here, and I'm just going to record the next video now anyway. And hopefully that one will also have a decent amount of progress in it. I don't know. That's all I've got to say.